Yo, what is up guys? It's Ali Attack Vision HD. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the post travel on your MM711 mouse. This even works on the MM710 mouse since they have the same body or post travel right here. As you can see, it's creaking. Yeah, so basically what we want to do is fix that. So what you're going to need to do is take the bottom feet off. So to do that, you want to burn the adhesive off basically, or like kind of melt it with a hairdryer. So you want a hairdryer and you're just going to put it on the mouse feet and they'll just come off. So I'll see you guys after that happens. So real quick, I just want to tell you guys that you should just use the other mouse feet you got in the packaging with the M711 because these will not apply as good. As you can see, these are reapplied mouse feet and they don't sit too well. So I would re recommend you guys to just uh, change those out. Okay, so I'm basically done with that. I took off all the mouse feet. You don't need to. You only need to do the first and the second mouse foot feet right here, the bottom ones. And next thing you need to do is unscrew these two screws. There's no other screws, just these two. So after you take the screws out, you just want to keep them in a safe place right here. So you just want to uh, put them off to the side in a safe place. Make sure you have that. And now you can just take this off. So what you want to do is you want to squeeze and you want to like push with your bottom thumb. Right, so what you're going to do, want to do is pull it out kind of with your thumb and just push it up. Try not to break it. It is kind of clumsy as you can see. I'll just do it with my right, right there, yeah. So you just take it out like that. And what you wanna do is you wanna get into here. So you're gonna have to take, this is the RGB shroud, as you can see. So you just wanna take it out. You can just pull it out like that. And once you do that, you want to have the body, you want the inside of this part out. Sorry about that, I had a train passing by, but basically you have these four pegs. One, two, three and four you can use your thumb and just push them in or you can actually use a screwdriver and just push them in. so all you have to do is push them in i'll get back to you when i have done that now that we have this part off it was right here just take that off now what you want to do is push these two tabs in so now that we have that off what we want to do is take these little two or the mouse one and two buttons off so what you wanna do is actually click this. And while you're pushing this, right, you want to push this other one up with your thumb. It took me a long time, but I kind of figured it out. Um, I legit just had to push this under here and it's gone. After that happens, all you basically, you just have to like take it out. And what you wanna do is insert zip ties into that so as you can see you have zip ties right here and you just want to place these into that and these are around four inches these came with my pc these are all pc zip ties uh and you can just put them inside there inside this little hole so what you want to do is actually cut this so i'm gonna cut it around here you want to leave a little bit of the string and just do that you do that you just want to place uh it inside so this is right there right. yeah and as you can see it's right here it's like a charm and you can do that with the other one too oh and just this little side note you do not want to use these big ones as you can see the one that fits here is this much smaller one. To make it a little bit more secure, right here where the stand is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape, not too much, just a teensy bit. I took a little bit of like electric kind of duct tape, kind of secured it in. I can add one more layer, just make it a little bit better. And that's basically it actually. It doesn't look too pretty, but it does get the job done. As you can see, we have both of these and click down on them, they work fine. And as you can see, we don't have that problem anymore. The clicks feel perfectly fine after putting everything back together. Uh, and we're just gonna apply the new mouse feet and everything. And I'll get you back to you. Now that everything's screwed in, you can just install the mouse feet. 
So I would just clean the area. If, uh, if there's any adhesive left, you can just use uh, rubbing alcohol to fix that. So just rub it all out. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Just put the feet back in. You just take off the 3M um, backside and stick them on. And they should stick on pretty good. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.